Hello, friends. Today we're going to read Bella the cow who thought she was a hen. What? <laughs> that sounds weird. Let's let's see what happens in this book. Written by Sebastian Amy and illustrated by Andrew Joyner. Once upon a time, there was a cow called Bella who lived on a farm. Bella had some strange ideas. She thought she was a hen. Bella pecked grains of wheat like a hen. She tried to stand on one leg like a hen. The hens kept their chicks out of Bella's way in case she stepped on them. When Bella went too close to hens, the rooster pecked her with his beak and said, "Look out, you clumsy thing!" The hens cackled. "Hey, look! It's a huge hen! Huge hen, hen! Huge hen, hen!" Oh, that's not very nice. Bella's only fl- only friend was Plato, the old farm dog. When the rooster pecked Bella, she cried, and Plato comforted comforted her. Plato told Bella over and over that she was not a hen, but she would not believe him. Bella couldn't fit through the door of the hen house, so at night she slept between the hen house and Plato's kennel. One night, a little wolf came to the farm. He climbed over the wall and landed on Bella's back. She woke up. She woke up with a start and said, "What's going on? Who's that?" The little wolf said, "Sorry to wake you, but I'm looking for a hen. Are there any around here? I have never been out of the forest. My mom and dad told me to go into the farm and bring back a hen, but I don't know what hens look like. What do you think Bella's going to say?" Well," said Bella proudly, "I'm a hen." The little wolf was surprised. "I thought hens were smaller," he said. Bella pecked some seeds and did her best to stand on one leg. She said, "Well, I'm the biggest hen in the world, and who are you?" "I'm a wolf," said the little wolf. He was so small that Bella was not scared of him at all. Bella sniffed at the little wolf and said, "Are you sure you're not a dog?" "Yep, I'm sure," said the little wolf. Then whack! He hit her on the head with a stone. Bella fainted and fell over. The little wolf heaved her into a wheelbarrow and set off back to the forest. Oh no! <laughs> When the little wolf got home, he shouted, "Dad, Mom, dinner time! I have brought you the biggest hen in the world." Father wolf said, "Silly boy, this isn't a hen; it's a cow." Mother wolf said, "We can't eat her later, but what we want right now is a tasty little hen." Father wolf said, "Go back to the farm and this time get it right, son. Hurry too, because we are very hungry wolves." Then they locked poor Bella in the larder. What do you think will happen? Let's see. The little wolf went back to the farm. He jumped over the wall and fell into Plato's can- kennel. The dog came out of the kennel and barked. Woof woof! Who goes there? How dare you wake me up! It's me," said the little wolf. "Sorry to bother you, but I'm looking for a hen. Do you know where I can find one? I took one home, but it turned out to be a cow." Plato was furious. "What? You took our cow home?" Then the clever old dog had an idea. He said, "I'm a hen. Take me to your house. You'll love eating me." So whack! The little wolf hit Plato over the head with a stone. The dog fell down in a faint. The little wolf popped him in the wheelbarrow and went back to the forest. Oh, what's going to happen? What a fool! Wow, that's not nice," said Father Wolf when the little wolf arrived. "That's not a hen. It looks a bit like a hen, doesn't it?" said the little wolf. "No, not at all," scolded his mother. "It's a dog." They locked the dog in the larder with the cow. Then Father Wolf said, "Now let's go and hunt hens." Come along. So the three wolves left their house and set off towards the farm.
In the larder, Bella was awake at last. She licked Plato's face. When he started to feel better, Plato said, I came to rescue you. Let's get out of here. But how can we? said Bella. The door is locked. Just knock it down, barked Plato. Do you think Bella will be able to knock that door down? Probably, she's a cow. What? A little hen like me? But that's what Bella said. No, I'm much too delicate to knock down such a big door. Stop it, Bella, said Plato in a cross voice. Voice, You're not a cow. You're a cow, not a hen. Plato pointed at her legs. Look, you have fur, not feathers. Well, my feathers are a bit furry, said Bella. You have never laid a single egg, said Plato. Yes, once I did, said Bella. But when she thought about it, the egg she laid looked very much like a stone. And what are those, asked Plato. Er, horns, she replied. Have you ever seen a hen with horns, said Plato. Your cow and those horns can break down the door. Oh, maybe I'm a cow, said Bella. With that, she ran at the door and smashed it open. Ooh. Bella and Plato hurried to the farm, arrived just in time. The three wolves has, had got into the hen house and were about to gobble up the hens. Plato barked and Bella charged with her horns down. The wolves ran off as fast as they could. After that, Bella didn't think she was a huge hen anymore. She thought she was a little cow and she was very happy about it. At night when she left, slept next to Plato's kennel, lots of hens and chicks came and snuggled up to her. So they became friends now. The end.